because a long time ago, I decided to live my life according to a specific piece of advice. Now you've probably heard this advice before because it is regularly promoted by coaches, counselors, teachers, and mentors throughout the personal and professional development space. <clears throat> now this advice is only three simple words, but it largely impacted the decisions I made having to do with my career, and on a daily basis, pretty much everything that had to do with my work. From if I'd show up to work, to if I'd quit my job or stay at my job, to how happy I was at work, to even who I'd be friends with at work. And due to some experiences, what I'm actually going to share with you today, I actually found out that advice was wrong, and it was misleading, and it was incredibly incomplete. And I wouldn't be surprised if we found out that this advice has impacted your life, or might even be impacting your life right now. Find, search for, your purpose, meaning. And in terms of work, search for meaningful work. Now I'm not sure when the first time was that I actually heard this piece of advice, but if you ever feel stuck and unfulfilled and lack a certain sense of clarity in relation to your career or your life, this advice tends to pop up. Now that's not without reason. Multiple research studies have shown and indicate that employees that feel that their life and work are meaningful experience a variety of positive outcomes. Overall, they're just happier and more fulfilled. But they're also more productive. They desire less pay. But we have an issue. In the United States, two-thirds of all employees don't feel that their work is meaningful. And at the same time, we're constantly promoting and telling them that it should be, that they should find their purpose. And this can have consequences. At least it did for me. Now, before I started my own business, I had a really good job. I could walk to work. I had supportive coworkers. I had professional growth opportunities. I had a great salary and good benefits. And most importantly, I felt like my work was meaningful. I felt like I found a bit of my purpose. And because of that, I was engaged and overperformed, outperformed, and I got a promotion. Which was wonderful for my career. But once the dust settled, something was missing. Now I made even better money. I still had supportive coworkers. I could still walk to work. I still had professional growth opportunities. But I didn't feel that my work was meaningful. I didn't feel that I had a purpose. And so I started feeling stuck and unfulfilled and lacking a certain sense of clarity about what to do with my work. So I did the only thing that I knew how to do, and I searched for it. And when I couldn't find it at my job, I started looking at outside opportunities. And I actually started becoming resentful towards my employer for taking something from me, something that I thought that I needed something I thought I deserved. And I eventually searched myself out of the organization. Now to find my purpose, the only way I knew how to do it was to search for it. And that was a costly mistake for the organization and for myself. Think about how much it costs my employer to have me employed at work every day disengaged, doing just enough to get by. Or how much it costs to find someone new and to train them? Or how about just the loss of my potential of what I could have been for my employee? And what about the cost to myself? I was going into work each single day, unmotivated, stressed, frustrated, resentful. And those emotions didn't just infect my work environment, but they, those emotions came home with me and impacted my personal in social life, they drain me mentally and even physically. Now this situation and situations like this don't actually have to happen, but they will keep happening if we keep accepting and promoting the advice, find your purpose. See, because purpose isn't something that you can find, and it's not something an employer can give to you. This is where that advice is wrong. That's where that ad this advice is misleading. Because purpose is an emotion, and emotions come from within. 
What if as individuals, we all understood this, and knew not to seek out experiences that were meaningful, but instead decided to craft meaningful experiences? And what if our employers knew that they couldn't give their employees meaning, and so instead sat their employees down, asked them questions, had a conversation to figure out what their employees felt was meaningful, and then used that information to craft more meaningful work. So keeping in mind that purpose is an emotion, I'd like to promote a new piece of advice that isn't misleading, that isn't incomplete. It's still only three words, but it's create your purpose. Still simple, still straightforward, but create to bring into existence purpose, meaning, in terms of work, bring into existence meaningful work. See, because your purpose is yours and yours alone. You can actually access it at any single moment in time. And because of that, you are also always greater than any purpose that you could individually create. Keep that in mind when you feel stuck and unfulfilled and maybe get resentful at your employer. So we all deserve to feel that our work is meaningful. We all deserve to feel that we have a purpose. But we just have to remember that we are the reason that we can. You don't have to find your purpose. It's already waiting inside you for you to create it. Thank you.